Julie Gardner with Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service and today I'm here in the Community Wellness Center of the Scott & White Urgent Care Clinic in Colleen to bring you a great recipe for dinner tonight. Today we'll be preparing Comfort Stew. This recipe has been in my family for many years and now I'm honored to be able to prepare it for my children. I love it because it's simple, it's easy, and it's very nutritious. What we've done is we've started with one pound of ground beef along with one medium onion that's been chopped and I have started the browning process and once you finish the browning process, then we're going to go and add our other ingredients. This recipe is great because all your ingredients go in one pot, so the cleanup is even easier as well. First, we're going to add our tomato products, and we're going to start with one can of petite diced tomatoes. And you want to make sure that you're choosing the low sodium version. We know that Americans get way too much sodium in the diet, so we want to make sure we're choosing low sodium. Going to follow that with one can of tomato sauce. Again, make sure and check the label for low sodium. Now, the next ingredient is where you can really kick up the heat if you'd like to, or you can keep it mild. And that is because we're going to add one can of diced tomatoes with green chilies. Now, I have chose the original version because I do have small children in my home, but you could easily substitute the extra hot or the mild if you don't like things quite as spicy. Now to this, we're going to add one can of whole kernel corn. We want to make sure we drain it and again, check the label for the low sodium. Once we've added our whole kernel corn, now it's time for our fresh vegetables. We're going to add one cup of sliced fresh celery, followed by one cup of sliced carrots. Again, you could use canned carrots if you'd like, but again, the sodium would be a little higher than the recipe. And then I've taken one large potato and I've diced it. We're going to add that and give everything a stir. And we want to add a little more liquid, so we want to make sure we're adding at least a half a cup to one cup of water. And I usually find closer to one cup is, is accurate. So once we stir these ingredients together, we're simply going to increase the heat and bring this to a boil. Once we've brought it to a boil, we want to reduce the heat then, cover, and we want to simmer this for 30 minutes to one hour. The time is going to vary depending on the size of the cut of vegetables that you have in your, your dish. And once that's simmered for 30 minutes to one hour, then you have a great finished product with Comfort Stew, a recipe that's nourishing to the body and to the soul. Next time that you're looking for a new family favorite recipe, I hope that you turn to Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service, proud partners in health with Scott & White Urgent Care Clinic.